Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Kadash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom, uh, citations, mercy, and blessings to all the sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. My name is uh, Thabua Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, back with a uh, a small little message, man. Lord willing, uh, it's received. Lord willing, it's edifying. And this is uh, basically, you can't you can't force we can't force feed this truth down anybody's throats. You know, nor nor is that um, what brothers seek to do, man. You know, because we understand that there's some that just are not going to get it. And the ones that just aren't going to get it, that's that's going to be that's the story of them. You know, there there's there there's no way you can make something that is cricket straight. All right. And that's exactly how it's worded in the scriptures is that that which is cricket cannot be made straight. We have to accept the fact that there's certain people that's not meant to get this word, man. OK, there's certain people that is not meant to receive the understanding of the scriptures there's certain there and i'm talking about israelites man i'm not talking about i don't care about the heathens and, and esau and whatever they have going on i'm talking about i'm talking about israelites man jakes all right so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right the ones that refuse to get with the program the ones that 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 are in love with this american society that is in love with their their master esau and that is in love with the 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 wickedness that is um that they're able to uh uh get away with all right um those people man we leave those people alone leave those people alone don't worry about them all right because they're 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 in their um they're in their lot basically all right anyway this is a uh second corinthians chapter four verse three actually i'm gonna read up uh, Second Corinthians chapter four, starting at verse one, it says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. All right. And we believe that we received mercy. We hope that we uh, received mercy from the heavenly father. We take it as by the fact that he's allowing us to still continue to breathe and, and, and not sincerely jack us up when we know that that he could. We take that as mercy, man. All right. And it says we faint not. It, that encourages us to keep on going. All right. When you wake up in the morning, all right, the most I'll give me one more day to uh, uh, to to, you know, get my act together to get to do right. OK, it says, um, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the heavenly father deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the heavenly father and this is what we do and we um uh, i went over the scripture actually uh not too long ago in a previous um in a previous lesson all right because we don't we're not taking the word of the heavenly father uh uh deceitfully as as we do see examples of certain men do man all right we see examples of of uh, uh religious figures that take the word of the heavenly father deceitfully and lie about it. Okay, we see examples of um of maybe uh some some heads of, of some other Israelite camps that are not really in it to to feed the sheep or to uh bring Israel back to righteousness, but are in it for their own um their own sake for to to, to line their pockets. All right. We we've seen these examples, man. But we ourselves, we're not handling the word of the heavenly father deceitfully and i'm just, i'm speaking about we i'm speaking about the brothers that are sincerely following after uh the examples left by the apostles here in great millstone because the apostles of great millstone are sincerely out there just to feed the flock man they're not looking to get rich they're not looking to buy a new jet or to buy a new uh to get a new lease on life man all right they're they're looking sincerely to do the work of the heavenly father and they're fervent about that all right that's why Great Millstone shut its doors to where, hey, all these new people that that's that's popping up trying to make a name for themselves. Hey, they, they we cut the cut the uh, doors on that. And in fact, with the doors shut, that turns all the attention uh, in house to where the the ones that aren't right can get rooted out. All right, this is a sifting process as it's written. All right, it says this is verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right, it's hid to those that are lost, man. That's going to be the scripture that I put in the description. It says, um, it says, in whom 
the God of this world hath hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the heavenly Father, should shine onto them. All right. So the the, the God of this world, which is is a uh, uh, which really realistically is Satan, as is written, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right. When when uh, the spiritual demon Satan went and tempted the Lord, he said that everything in the earth was was in his hand and that he can give it to um, uh, to the Lord Yahweh Shai, Right. And the Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, uh rejected him. OK, so all this, that's that's the God of this world. It says he have blinded the minds of them which believe not. And you see that within uh, what we call the two third community, man, which is the, the, the Israelites who. Uh, either are unaware that they're Israelites or they don't care that they're Israelites. All right. And what I mean by they don't care, it means that they don't care about serving the Heavenly Father. They're not interested in serving the Heavenly Father uh, with the life and with this information that they receive. Receiving the information that they were Israelites did not inspire them, nor shall it inspire them uh, to do right and to, to uh, uh, go into servitude for the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Go in for uh, the service of Yahweh Shai himself. They 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 refuse to do that. Why? It's because they um uh, they are blind. All right. The gospel is hit to them, man. This good news is hit to them. It doesn't make sense to them. All right. They don't they don't want to find uh they don't want the information that they themselves along with their people are going to be able to rule the world. They don't want that information, man. They don't want to know that we actually are the most valuable people. Upon the planet Earth, all right, that our power, the power that we serve is the living power that, that created everything that they see. They don't want to hear that, man. They got their uh, they got their Jesus Christ, which accepts everybody. All right. They got their there's they're already saved. They got their ticket to, to heaven already. All right. They don't they don't want what it is that we're offering. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a scripture that I quoted just a bit ago. Uh, towards the beginning of the, the video, this is Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse 15. All right. It says, um, it says that which is cricket cannot be made straight and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. Okay. And that's, that's, that's the point. All right. The things that's cricket cannot be made straight. There's certain Israelites that was made and they wasn't made straight, man. All right. That's why this gospel is, 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 uh, hidden unto them. That's why it tells you in the Apocrypha, uh, in the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, that uh, this the same is going to have to know it after death by pain, man. OK, after death by pain is when they're going to be um, is when they're going to uh, 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 realize what it is that's going on. All right. That's when they're going to realize how important it is, um, uh, how important it would have be. Or I'm sorry, it would have been uh, for the for them to. Uh, come into the service of the heavenly father man i'm sorry i said that was written in um ecclesiasticus but actually uh now that i think about it that's in uh second ezra uh the ninth chapter second ezra chapter nine um not in sirach but in uh second ezra chapter nine verse 12 it says actually i'm gonna I'm read up it says um um it says, uh, pff, man, I love this chapter. I'm actually going to start. I'm going to start at verse nine just to get to the point. Second Ezra chapter nine, verse nine. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And that's you guys that are refusing to get with the program, man. Which, like I said, that's OK. Wait, we're not going to force feed this truth down your down your throat. If you don't want it, you don't want it. You know, you don't want it. You don't want it. That's fine, man. Um, it says uh, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And that's what you guys have right now. Right now, there's liberty, man. We all, I always use the analogy of uh, in those action movies, you know, your Mission Impossibles and your James Bonds and whatnot. You got that. You got that guillotine door coming down, man, that sliding door coming down. Uh, uh, to lock down the place, man. Alarms is blazing, you know, and 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 uh, uh, there's there's guard troops scrambling around in the hallways, and you you got to get out of there quick. And that door is rolling down because they putting everything down on lockdown. That big ass fire door, man. All right, it's coming down and it's coming down quick and it's coming down heavy. And you gotta, it's to the point where you gotta do that baseball slide, uh, right under it 
you know, just in the nick of time to make it to the other side, man. All right. You people don't realize that that door is coming down quick, man. And you got to You need to get on to the other side. All right. Because anybody that's that's trapped on that on on the side that you're on right now, it's not going to be pretty for you. And that's what's being said right here in the scriptures that you're going to be in a pitiful case, man. All right. Because you loathe the law while you had uh, liberty. Read on it says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. And that's exactly what people are doing right now, man. Our people, two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right. Um, majority, majority of the Israelites that's on the planet right now. That's exactly what they're doing. They're despising the law, man. They got the liberty, but they, they uh, and that place of repentance is open unto them, but they don't they don't understand it. All right. Verse 12, it says in the same the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and whom the world is created. All right. So it's more important for the for the guys that are getting it, man, for our attention to be turned to the guys that are getting it versus us being uh, uh, concerned with with trying to force feed someone who ain't getting it, man. All right. The gospel is hit onto them. All right. They ain't going to get it. Never going to get it. Never going to get it. All right. That's a song. Uh, I don't know who sings that. You guys, uh, you brothers know that. We'll do, 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 do. Anyway, uh, going to Proverbs chapter one. All right. Starting at verse 20. All right. It says wisdom cry without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying. All right. And wisdom is crying out throughout those uh, throughout the uh, the streets, man. All right, because this message is going out throughout the streets. The prophets of the Lord is set up all, all over the place, man. All right, this this information is available uh, uh, everywhere, man. All right, everywhere this information is available unto you. So that wisdom is crying out. It says, um, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And that's directed towards our people, man. All right, because this isn't this isn't a very hard thing to understand. In fact, it's quite easy, man. All right, Yahweh Shai has made this all easy. It says that he says that his uh, burden is light and his yoke is easy. You know, a rough phrase of that scripture. It says, "Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you, and I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at night all my counsel and would none of my reproof." Also, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. See, and people don't don't expect for that to happen, man. You keep swatting away the hand or biting, as it says, biting the hand that feeds you. And then when it when it's not offering you no know, food no more, that's when you want to cry. All right. That's when you want to cry for hunger. Hey, it's, it's too late. It's going to be too late for a lot of you people, man. Already it's too late for a lot of you people. OK, and, and things haven't got super physical and in, in, in your face yet, man. But right now, it's too late. Hey, when things do get super physical in, in your face, then it really is going to be too late, man. Because that's really when everybody's going to be wanting to uh, uh, to try to get with the program. And that's 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 far too late. You need to you need to be trying to uh, gain access right, right now versus trying to come in. Who do you think was better? All right. Who do you think was better? The the, the soldiers that joined the military uh, before the draft are the people that got forced into the military during the draft. Who do you think was a, was a better uh, servant, man? All right. It's the same thing. Look, you, you going to sign up for Yahweh Shai's army now? Or are you going to try to get swept in the, uh, uh, in the flood of things like, oh, well, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. And that's not going to work, man. All right. The ones that, that, that are gearing up now that are in, in training now, those are the ones that's going to actually get that glory. Okay. They're going to be the ones that's going to be able to partake in the glory that Yahweh Shai uh, receives, man. All right. Not the ones that 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 think that they can, you know, are fully aware that they're supposed to be doing right. But but think that they're going to duck out. All right. And at the last minute, just just come and sneak in like they've been there the whole time, man. That's not going to work. OK, that's not going to work. It says, I will mock when your fear cometh. Uh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me for that. They hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the heavenly father. Uh, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of their fruit 
of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So most high is going to leave you people out there high and dry, man. You don't want to reverence him right now in in a, a quote unquote time of peace. Hey, don't be trying to call on him in the time of war, man. All right. If you ain't going to serve the heavenly father, when if you ain't going to serve him when you don't realize that you need him, don't be trying to call on him when you do realize that you need him, man. That's basically uh, the mindset. OK, that's basically the mindset. You ain't going to cry. On, you ain't going to cry on him and praise him when you have your peace, which is what you're supposed to be doing. Don't be crying and, and asking for him to save you in that time of in that time of uh, when you're not at peace, man. All right. It says um, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear from uh, from fear of evil. And brothers that, that are doing the right thing. We are definitely quiet from fear of evil, man. All right. We understand these scriptures say that there's not a weapon that can be formed against us that's going to prosper. All right. And that the weapons of our uh, warfare are not carnal, man. OK, so we don't got nothing to worry about. Esau, Edom, come on. Let, he could take this body, man, but he can't do nothing because our minds is actually free. We ain't we, this gospel's not hidden onto us. Hey, but pretty much that's the point, man. Lord willing, this has been edifying and Lord willing, the message has been received. All right. Uh, all the praise and the glory that goes unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that do rule exceptionally well, living as excellent examples here upon the planet Earth of how Israelite man should conduct themselves. Also, shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers out there, pushing this word with truth and faith and following after that example. Until next time, shalom.